Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and today I would like to show you this shop here so you can probably see part of the writing, this is the shopping mall and uh, on the shopping mall it's written free and cheap shop, free and cheap shop and um, it's something really interesting because it has to do with the Chinese history and also uh, you understand a lot uh, about China when I explain you this. See quite often in China you hear Chinese pe people tell you, you are a friend of China. So this happened to me all the time, people uh, will tell me, um, ask me how long have you been to China? Oh you are married to a Chinese uh, woman, you have, a, you have a kid, you are a friend of China, you are a friend of China or you can speak Chinese, you studied here, you are a friend of China. And in in fact, it all, this whole uh, friendship story, uh, I think it dates back from, uh, from uh, Mao Zedong, you see, then uh, China started to say, some of uh, them, the foreigners are our friends and some of them are from, uh, and as opposed to enemies, so it means uh, some of uh, the foreigners they are friends, some of our, uh, the foreigners they are enemies. And back to the friendship store. Uh, so this is a part of history of China, you see Deng Xiaoping uh, started opening the country, and um, I, here it's, it's really raining a lot, so I'm just holding this and I, I, I park, I stop my e-bike and I will start uh, going a little bit. So he, then Xiaoping starts uh, opening the country and he said uh, the foreigners can come here. And I think it was even maybe before Deng Xiaoping. The only place where the foreigners were allowed to shop, there was this friendship store. See here, you can see very well from here. There were these friendship store. They are the only places where foreigners are were allowed uh, to shop. And um, I have a very good friend here who has been to China for uh, 30, 40 years. And by the way, uh, once I discussed with uh, viewers and he was telling me, hey, hey, you cannot even speak Chinese, which in fact is not true. I can speak Chinese, I understand Chinese. Uh, just my Chinese is not good enough to uh, see friendship store. My, my Chinese is just not good enough to have elaborate conversation with people and so what you know it doesn't mean you can be here for years and cannot and, and, and even though you don't speak Chinese it doesn't mean you know um, you know a lot about China it means nothing you see one thing is the language and another thing is the knowledge that you have of the country and this is what I told you and I, I always tell you so many uh, uh, people they study Chinese and they come to China they understand nothing you see? So anyway, uh, this friend of mine, he has been here for 30, 40 years and he told me the first time he came to China, um, he was only allowed to stay in some hotel and in this hotel uh, they would al always have someone. He was not allowed to go on the streets and when he, when he went on the streets there was always someone who would follow him everywhere. You see? And he was not allowed to buy outside on the street and the foreigners were not allowed to get a RMB. Uh, they, they only had the dollars, they could only pay in dollars, so you have dollars and the only place where you can shop they are this friendship store, so you would go there to buy cigarettes, you go there to buy food, to buy, uh, to buy fruits, to buy a specific product and the price there would be like uh, 10 times the price uh, or even more the price uh, on the street and he told me sometimes I, he managed to get some RMB and, and shop on the street so this is really interesting, the foreigners were only allowed to shop in this shopping mall and they are still there, so still now you can see a few, I think in Changsha this is this one and there is another one, see a friendship mall. So now when you are in, um, and it's interesting that these shops are still there, it's part of the history. So these are the friendship mall for the friends of China, the friends of China, they are the foreigners who come here to China <laughs> and they were only allowed to shop here. So this is what I want to, to tell you today. Take care and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Uh, it helps the channel. So uh, give me your support. Take care everyone. See you next time.